Hello learners, today we will discuss about the unit number 7 entitled Creativity from your course 2 of M Education. I am Dr. Arsana Adhikari, we will discuss this topic with you in two parts. The first part we will discuss about the meaning of creativity, its characteristics, factors that influence in creativity, what are the steps that are involved in creativity and the characteristics of a creative person with the help of which we can identify who is creative or not. Then we will summarize and end the part. So let's start. So what is creativity? We all are anxious to know who is a creative person. Because creativity is such a term which is essential for uh, development of new things, new ideas, innovative ideas to make a, uh, to make a process whatever it nation and activity successful one so basically creativity essentially relates to the potentials of an individual for generating new idea forms and practices so basically what it means it is the it it, it relates to the potential or qualities of an individual of a person which are helpful in generating new ideas innovative ideas because creativity itself is a term which is concerned with innovativeness. It is the result of convergence of the basic cognitive process, core domain knowledge, and environmental, personnel, and motivational factors. We know that in the last, uh, in the rest of uh, course uh, and units of the particular courses, you have come to know about many things about psychology learning, motivation, transfer of learning, all these things you have come to know. So you have, you have come to know that this uh, creativity is a part of a cognitive process of an individual. It includes the core domain knowledge and environmental factors because for a person to be creative, he needs some motivational factors, he needs some environmental factors which the parents, the school, the family can provide him. As well as it is also personnel. He must have the particular quality. Then only he can be considered as a creative person. Then it is the capacity to produce something that is both new and adaptive. Yes, important thing. It is the capacity through which a person can produce something that is new as well as adaptive and it is also not important that every time the creative person should uh, produce new thing he can also adapt the old thing into a new term that is also a creative activity it is a complex phenomenon as it is determined by a wide range of factors because in creative process there are lots of factors which we will discuss in the later part therefore it is a comprehensive and complex phenomenon there are lots of definition you will get in the aslm or in the textbook of psychology but the definition i have put it here is simpson he said that creative thinking involves new forms of thinking away from the traditional forms. Generally, we all are in habitual, in a habitual form to think in the traditional mode or form. But creative thinking are not like that. It always go for a new form, which is always away from the traditional one. It involves a curiosity, imagination, research, novelty, etc. Because when a creative person is always in strife, it's a charge of a new thing. He strive for novelty. He doesn't go for the existing one. Therefore, he need what? Curiosity. Curiosity. What is going on? He is always curious. He is always imaginative. And he always look for the novelty, research. That, that is why he is a creative person. As well as creative is a creativity is a very precious and unique quality in an individual. Because we all are not quite creative. There are lots of people in a state, in a school or in a in the world. There are lots of people, millions of people. But among all these people, few, only a few or a few is a creative. Why? Because it is a precious kind of quality, unique kind of quality. 
as it enables the person to solve the complicated problem in the different walks of life. He can think in a new way, he can solve the problem in an innovative way, which is very precious and unique. Therefore, it is a unique and precious quality of a person. That is the main concept of creativity. Basically, it is a complex, it is a very unique phenomenon that happens to a particular person. Then what are the characteristics on the basis of which we can determine the concept of creativity? First one is universal. Yes, creativity is universal in nature. Yeah, there are few person, particular person who have the particular quality of creativity. But it is universal in nature. Anyone in the world can have this particular potentiality. Therefore, it is universal. Then novelty. Creativity is always considered dealt with novelty. What, it, what is novelty? Novelty is the ability to produce something new. As well as belong aside, along with creating something <coughs> new, it also go for creating or the adapting the old thing in a new form. Therefore, it always concerned with the novelty. Then divergence. Creative Creativity always involves divergent thinking, more than the convergent thinking. It is always different from other, always divergent. Then, uh, then there are some condition for creativity. What it is? Requires free atmosphere. Yes. If a person have to think something new, he need a free atmosphere in a very, you know, controlled, an imposing position or imposing situation, he cannot think. He have to think, he have to imagine for novelty, for innovation. And for this, he required a free environment. Then wide scope. Creativity has a very wide horizon. It includes all aspects of human life. It is not like that creativity only uh, includes the academic field, no. In any area, in any walks of life, it may be art, it may be drama, it may be cooking also, creativity can occur. So its, it's horizon is very wide. It's not confining to a particular <coughs> aspect of human life. Then innate as well as acquired. Yes, creativity is a natural environment. A person can be creative by inborn. He may have this quality by innate, but it, it's also acquired. It may be also be acquired. Once creativity may be the function of natural endowment as well as its nurturing. Mean, mm. Means uh, it is the product of nature and nurses. Means what? Yes, creativity is acquired by birth, but if we do not nourish it, if we do not make proper care of it, then it will vanish. So. Therefore, it is termed as innate as well as accurate. Then, adventurous and open thinking. Creativity is adventurous and open thinking. For creative thinking, we have to open our mind. Open up our mind. If we are controlling our mind, if we are limiting our mind to a particular area, we cannot be adventurous. We have to be adventurous. We have to explore. Then only we can imagine then only we can create that is creativity then process as well as product creativity is both process and product it is not like that creativity is only productive we have to process it through processing it becomes a product so creativity is both process and product then individualistic as well as socialistic creativity is individualistic approach yes in the beginning because when a person thinks he thinks from his own individually individual point of view but later on it is it becomes socialistic because he 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 gave it to us he leave it to us the society and other person society accept it because whatever something new happen first of all this the, the particular thing comes from the particular person then we accept it that means what we have we accepting the individualistic view from socialistic part 
therefore creativity is both individualistic as well as socialistic now we will discuss the factors that are responsible or that are influencing or affecting the creativity what are the thing what are the factors that are essential for creativity if we want our child to be creative then we have to provide some uh, factors or we have to provide some particular e environment and what are they first is motivation if a person if a child want to do something that means what he has some reason for it the first reason is motivation the school teachers the parents and his friends must motivate him that's why he is uh, you know encouraged to do something new so we all the teachers the parents must motivate our child because all are endowed with some creative qualities there's the thing is what we have to motivate them we have to push them to do that and that is motivation Girls, they may child may get motivation but if they do not have that kind of courage then they cannot make no new things new ideas for this we have to encourage them they must gain the courage and after that it will be helpful for them to go for a new and innovative idea then experiences yes of course for creative to be creative we must have some experiences in the line or in the area which we are focusing on if it is a artistic area we must have some artistic experiences if it is a you know in any sport area any literature area that we must also have some experiences so experience is another factor that is responsible or is influencing creativity then resources of course i want to make something or you want to make something you have you, ha you are motivated you have courage you have experiences but you don't have any resources for it how can you make it how can you go for it it's impossible so for this we need some resources in any form in any kind which will be applicable to the particular area so resources are important and who will give us the resources the management the governance if it is school the school have to provide the particular resources suppose if it is about the writing poem writing stories or doing something performance then it it must have a proper stage proper pla platform it must provide some particular resources in terms of paper pencil art skills you know colors all these things resources any kind of resources the management or the school should provide then uh, pressure and challenges yes of course sometimes we have seen we have witnessed some people who are who are considered or who have turned to creative person because of challenges or pressure they have faced in their life there may be some children there may be some person who have faced lots of challenges in his life and out of that because of that he he is he has turned to a creative person because challenges has put him such kind of you know motivation that he is supposed to do that yes i have to do this because i am i am challenging i i have faced this pro problem therefore i must solve it because creativity is itself something uh, that it helps the person to solve problem creative person have lots of solution so if they have uh, faced challenges they are able to what they are able to derive some solution also then space and time of course they must if we have to be creative if uh, if we want our child to be creative we must give them free space and free time because in a control environment control condition they cannot think they cannot imagine so we have to give them free time so that they can utilize in a productive way so that with the factors now we will discuss about the steps steps in creativity what are the steps you know when a creative person creates something new it's not like that he has just created yesterday only it has a process he has to go long away for the process he have to follow some procedures 
what are they it may be uh, you know it may be uh, individual but uh, psychologists have uh, divided it in some st ways so uh, some have divided it into four stages some have divided into five and sub into seven so it differs from psychologist to psychologist but in general view creativity is believed to follow the following stages first one is preparation yes of course if we have to if a creative person have to develop something new give something new first of all he have to find out the pre find out what are going on for this he had to prepare himself or herself he had to find he had to see what is going on what are the problem so for this he identified the problem he prepared himself this is the first step then incub incubation so what incubation means here in this case he leave the problem he don't think much about he doesn't think much about the problem he just leave it then he give time give space to his unconscious mind to get some solution for it because when we are thinking much about a particular problem we are we are becoming you know confused we get confused we don't get we don't get proper solution but when we leave it when we are free our sub subconscious mind is also become free and then it gives us proper cue therefore it is incubation then illumination so all of a sudden all of a sudden we get some solution okay so as we are leaving our problem free all of a sudden some new mind some new thinking comes to our mind therefore it is illumination and at last we verify it the creative person verify it as the solution so these are basically the four steps of creativity first is preparation incubation illumination and verification then we will discuss the characters of a creative person as a teacher as a parent we sometimes may fail to f identify our creative children creative student so for this it is very essential to know what are the characteristics a creative person possesses because creativity is a natural endowment it is innate it is it the child get it by birth but if they are not identified not nourished it will vanish so it is very essential for the teacher to identify it very essential for the parents to find out it so what are they first is originality of ideas creative person have always have their own original ideas and expression they do not follow others they do not depend on others thinking they have their own ideas and those ideas are original in nature then they has they or they have the adaptability and a sense of adventure they have independent way of thinking they think in an independent way they have independent judgment they do not follow or depend on other for giving an adjustment to any activity or any matter they have their own independent judgment then they have high degree of awareness and to stress him and conscious concentration then they have investigative and curious nature yes of course at at a particular stage we find out that all children become curious to know something new so at that moment it is the, it is the right moment for the teacher and the parents to find out these characteristics in the child and nourish it because they have some curiosity to know about the world know about the nature know about the outer art therefore we have to keep proper mind on it then they have fluency in expression they can fluently express their views they have flexibility in thought perception and action they have good memory and a general knowledge and they have ambitious nature they have the diversity and divergence of thought of course i we, i have already stated that divergence is an important characteristic of creativity as such they have divergence of thought 
than spontaneous spontaneity and ease of expression they can express their view spontaneously and with ease they have respect for others opinion too though they have their original thinking independent thinking they also respect the others opinion and they have large number of ideas and solution to problem because they are creative they have when you approach to a creative person for your particular problem particular person they can give you lots of solution because they have their independent thinking independent judgment so on the basis of these qualities this these are not the list we have or uh, we have other characteristics also but these are the basically the important characteristics of creative person on the basis of which we can identify creative person creative student or creative children at our home so we have come to the last part of this uh, discussion what we have learned what we have discussed we have discussed about creativity which is essentially a potential of an individual for generating new ideas and forms and practices they are they have lots of characteristics that are universality novelty diversity then there yeah, there are there are some factors who are responsible for creativity what are those motivation resources courage experiences we have also discussed about the step involved in creativity in terms of preparation incubation illumination and verification then there are a number of characteristics that we have just discussed through which we can identify a creative person so this is the uh, this in this part we have discussed about the first part of the unit in the second part we will discuss about the remaining part of the unit 7 thank you